everybody, and it's Kelly, and I am back with another layout. So today I'm scrapping these photos of my boyfriend and I doing a, a little board painting date. And I was really inspired by that paint like paper in the vet background, which is the Vicky Booten Color Study um, 12 by 12 pad because it looks like paint and we're painting. And then just to get a little bit of extra fun and bright colors here, I'm adding this dot paper, which is also from the Color Study 12 by 12 pad. It's one of those things that you find some pictures and um, the paper really inspires you or find the paper and the pic and you're inspired to use that with certain pictures, which I sometimes really like that when you let product inspire you as well. Just a little bit of a different way to look at scrapbooking. I also like the fact that there's an ombre here. And so um, I flipped the um, pages so that the dark is on the, on the outside of both sheets of paper. I almost said lateral, which is, which is, <laughs> a term for my job, not for real life. Um, anyway, so I'm going to ink the edges here with my Mon Memento Dew Drop in Gray Flannel just because it's so light and I really wanted those to stand out. And I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to put them all the way to the top or let a little bit show. And I decided at the top the, of the painting stripes, I decided I really liked it better with the dot paper all the way to the top. So now I am working with um, some tags and that those are from the color study perspective paper and they're, it's a cut apart uh, sheet of paper. So I'm just trying to decide which tag to use here. I do like this navy, um, kind of a royally color, but I really then saw this green one that said this day was fabulous. And the thing I like about that is it's horizontal. I already have enough vertical going with the stripes of this paper, wanted a little horizontal. And then that ruler came from the Vicki Booten uh, Storyteller Embellishments with Gold Foil Pack. And I believe it was the only one left from that pack or maybe one of the few pieces left from that pack. And I really wanted to get it on this because there was a little bit of measuring involved, at least for me, to try to get um, the phrase that I chose to do, which was, um, and I can't remember the exact words from that. I'd have to, um, but it's a biblical phrase. That's she's clothed with strength and dignity, dignity, and will laugh at the day to come. Um, it's a version of that anyway. So then I'm just adding um, some die cuts here. These all come from the Vicky Booten Color Study Embellishment Pack. Uh, there is a pack with um, some foil accents, but they're not coming from that pack. It's the other pack here. Um, the You Color My World uh, is where the title is going to come from. I just like that because there was color. It felt really painterly, and obviously this is about painting, so that worked for me. And then I'm adding this, the two tubes of paint in as well. And again, getting more horizontal. So the color is more horizontal. That ruler is horizontal, which I am now putting on the left-hand side. And then the paint tube there is also um, more horizontal. Just liking the way that all kind of looks and um, just um, it emphasizes that horizontal line. All right, so I'm going to add that in, and I am now adding some um, foam tape behind that You Color My World, just to give that a little bit of dimension so it's not so flat. I've got the dimension, or I will have the dimension behind the pink paint on the right side of the papers, or right side of the layout, so that kind of made sense to add something to the left side as well. Again, inking all my embellishments. This all comes from the same collection pretty much, except for that storyteller um, ruler. But I really wanted that to help those stand out. It's All of this is very light, and sometimes I use ink because it is so light. But just adding in a little bit here and there and just kind of playing with where that's all going to go. All right. Clearing my desk up. I'm one of those scrapbookers that often cleans up between layouts. Sometimes if I decide to use the same collection, I don't, but I will like gather die kits back together and other things like that. It's hard for me to scrap on a desk that gets too messy. Every so often I'll do it, but not often. So now I am going through the small sticker 
book from the Vicki Booten um, collection and just kind of trying to uh, figure out what I want to use here. I'm going to use this paintbrush from that book and I'm going to put it up in the top of that, on top of that photo, just so I have three places of embellishment. It felt like the top didn't have a lot going on uh, on this layout because there was nothing up there. It was so close to the um, top of the edge. Uh, the edges of the paper were right at the top and there was nothing to help your eye kind of flow along the photos. Your eye went from would have gone to the Your Color My World and then the Fabulous tag at the bottom. And the photos aren't in the middle of that. So it's a little more disturbing to your eye it, um, versus having three spots of embellishment to sort of lead your eye around. So you'll look at the Color My World and then the paintbrush is there to catch your eye and then the Fabulous tag. So just trying to go through that sticker book to find other things that are going to work here. And I found these little paint splashes splotches and I think they're kind of fun. So I added those paint splotches. I'm adding the paint splotches in. Um, I took the orange ones and I put them at the top with the phrase um, that says creative moment, adding in a little round orange circle that looks like kind of like a paint stain and then a little today sticker. And these are all from that sticker book and then um, Eventually, they'll get a paint splash too. I found a little uh, phrase that said play there to go on the paintbrush to kind of help all that pull together. And here's where I'm remembering oh, yeah, I need to ink these things just to try to be consistent. And that's the little circle paint stain that I'm finding there. Just getting a few more things down here. And inking. I like these little paint splotches. They're kind of fun, like a, a different sort of version of uh, enamel dots or things that you scatter. All right. And there's that other little paint splotch that I told you was going to end up on this layout. Well, journal on the tag. I also put the date above the. Um, tube of paint just to be a little bit different. There was no other place for me to put it on that tag easily anyway without taking the writing on the tag off balance. This twine is from Hobby Lobby. It's the paper studio. I've talked about this before. I think I had a pack of 12 of them in different colors. So it's really awesome. All right. There's the still shot and a couple of detail shots. Hope you guys are all well and I'll be back with another layout again soon. Bye everybody. Mm -hmm.